reporting at KTN News Center. Now, stakeholders in Meru and Zarakanizi counties are holding a meeting to reduce conflicts caused by the scramble for water in the two counties. Our reporter, Ibrahim Karanje, is in Meru for this forum and now joins us live with the latest updates. Ibrahim Karanje, good morning. And uh, kindly bring us up to date with what you have. And of course, this meeting comes at a time also when there's been a lot of concern as to why Mount Kenya region can be the main hub of different dams that supply water to Nairobi city. And yet, residents in that uh, region are not even getting water. Well, good morning, Brenda. Indeed, this particular meeting held here in Meru Town today is very important to the residents of actually six counties that are surrounding the Mount Kenya region and counties that actually get their water or their main source of water is the mountain, which is not very far from where we are currently. And today, stakeholders are from these particular counties are having this particular dialogue uh, to come and, and talk and actually see how it is that they are going to satisfy all the people they are supposed to serve. I have with me Dr. Moria Mugambi, who is the uh, chairperson of uh, um, uh, up the board here in charge of water. He'll be telling us perhaps what it is that informed this particular uh, dialogue that they are having. And given that there have been lots of changes, climatic changes, we have seen that when uh, it pours, when it really uh, rains heavily, people are affected. Then after that, when rivers dry up again, people are affected. So what is the way forward? Thank you so much, Dr. Ari, for speaking to us on KTN News. My first question would be, what is it that informed this particular uh, forum that we are having today? Uh, thank you very much. Um, um, as you've told, I'm Moria Mugambi, uh, the chair. Uh, one of the reasons that we are having this forum today or the dialogue is that um, we've realized the uh, drying of rivers. There's a reduction of water everywhere and we are faced with a crisis. Uh, we've just gone through the dry period where we have uh, the major rivers like River Mariara, River Katheta, having little water. There is also, so there's water lacking for drinking water for the, the systems that we have. We also have problems with uh, irrigation. Meru is an agricultural area and a lot of water is being abstracted for agriculture. But we all know water is a basic human right and uh, we need to supply water for drinking but with the current climate change we have seen we, we we loosely talk about climate change but we know there are changes that are occurring within the weather patterns uh, right now we've started the rainy season and we've lost already two people in meru because of flooding why is this currently the governor uh, has realized that we serve other areas. And since we are the, 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 water, the, 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 the water begins from the Mount Kenya, we can abstract so much of it that the lower people, people in the Rakanithi, people in Laikipia, people in Tana River, people in Kitui, will be affected. And of course, once these ones people are affected, the, the, the only reason, reasonable thing that will happen is that they will come up to claim and then now, of course, we will start wars. So this dialogue is first and foremost to tell our people that we need to get ready. We need to change our outlook to the way we deal with water, the reduction in water, the increase in population. So we need to, it's about 50 something years since we got independence and we have to manage our resources. And this is one of the major issues. Dr. the question that many would ask is, we are talking about a reduction of water at a time like you have correctly mentioned, we are seeing also flooding in other areas, including Meru. We recently saw uh, from this particular area, flooding that led to people being swept away by floods. Perhaps what is it, uh, why do we find ourselves uh, in this situation during uh, the either extremes? Okay, first and foremost, there is a, there is a heavy downpours. The, the, the water, the, the, the rains have changed the patterns. But also the activities of man. We have cleared a lot of trees, we've got a lot of buildings, and we are not really taking care of the water, the runoffs. Uh, one of the things is, you know, um, with, the, with the increase in population, there's more clearance of vegetation. Uh, people are farming even on the, on the riparian areas, 
which, which hold back the water. People are overgrazing on the hills. People are farming on the hills, which should not happen. Yes. Yet then there is, no, um, there is no effort to try and actually uh, conserve the water or try to um, do farming in a, in, a, in a more sustainable way. Eh? You know, so that we, we, we reduce the runoff. And then uh, maybe also look at uh, maybe the, 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 large, the government coming in and actually even holding back this water. Because irrigation is supposed to be with the flood water. Yes. Yet uh, we are getting water being abstracted directly from the rivers. Uh -huh. So we are finding uh, the major river systems are drying up because we are the water has reduced definitely because you can see the snow in Mount Kenya is, is, is not there anymore. It's yes. very little. And that's where the waters begin. And uh, then we have the people also, the, the activities in the farms. There's been increase in uh, irrigating uh, farming in Meru. We're producing a lot of French beans, a lot of other things. So uh, there's more need. But at the same time, we are not doing... Uh, proper water use, conservation of water. Uh -huh. you, you, this reminds me of a conflict we had seen earlier involving two other counties, very different from this. We are talking about a conflict we had seen uh, involving Moranga and Nairobi counties. Residents of Nairobi actually are saying, be, uh, alleged, alleged to be the ones who are benefiting from the water that is in Abadeh. Is this uh, the similar case that we are having in Meru? And if yes, then what is the way forward? How uh, are you ensuring that people from Meru and people are, who are living downstream are all benefiting uh, from these water sources? Luckily here, because of the leadership, uh, you see before that has come up, you've got the governor who's already called the, the stakeholders to discuss this uh, problem before it escalates. escalates. So you can see already we have followed a different route from the Morangas and others in trying to take care of the problem before it. Water is, you cannot say, you know, there's a transboundary water. Can, you cannot hold water back. Sure. So you mean, it means that wherever it starts, the people are the, are the upper parts of the, of the drainage. They have to take care of this resource so that it continues down. That is a responsibility. And we find that um, we have to look at also the, the, the laws. Because right now, you know, with the devolved functions, with also the, the now the different organizations coming in, there has to be clear policies and laws in, in, in defining who manages what yes. and what is the response, so that we do not have conflict. We, we already have a little bit of that in that it's not quite clear on the county's role in managing the water resource. We, we still have a little bit of... Um, conflict with the national government or the, the, the authority that is supposed to be taking care of what this should be cleared because there shouldn't be you know it's detrimental water is such an important uh, item that we should really uh, have clear policies and laws uh -huh. to govern this and so that we cascade this down also to the people with the, the way we, 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 we manage the resources in the in the counties. Uh, the boards have to be in a position to set standards on how to do, especially now the collaboration between the different stakeholders. We need water for commerce, we need water for irrigation, and foremost, we need water for drinking. Well, Dr. Ari, allow me to cut you short and ask you this very important question, because many people would ask, after the dialogue, there's usually that very important aspect of implementation, that most of the times uh, we, people say, people sit down, they have dialogue, but when it comes to real implementation, it becomes a challenge. Perhaps what measures do you seek to put in place after this dialogue to ensure that there is implementation, and at the end of the day, we can say that the dialogue that was held in Meru County actually bore fruits? We definitely have to come with a way forward. And already I can see, you know, the capacity building, getting people to understand the problem in the first place, bring them together so that they understand what the problem is. And people come up with solutions themselves so that these things are not pushed down on people like laws come down. People make up their own uh, regulations which is very key in management of any resource. Once you get the people involved, people understand 
and people agree it will be very smooth uh, implementing whatever the county is planning. So that is why today they bring the stakeholders together. And then they also bring the other water uh, users. We've got the ambassador here who is going to also give us some information about maybe what they do in Morocco. And that's what we really need so that our people, once you get the people involved in something, things are much easier. It's very smooth. And uh, people already heard from the, uh, as we talk casually, people already, they know that's the problems. Uh -huh. So it's, it's about getting it's just getting, getting it, it done. Yeah, getting it done. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Well, Dr. Moria Mugambi, of course, uh, speaking about this particular dialogue that is happening today and, of course, the very important issue of implementation after the dialogue that will be held today. It is a forum uh, that will be graced by, amongst other people, the Moroccan ambassador to Kenya and also other people that will be here. I include Meru Governor Kiraito Murungi and Tharakanithi Governor Mudom Njuki, who will attend this particular forum. Also, six CECs for environment are also expected for, uh, to attend this particular function. So, Brenda, of course, this is an issue that we shall look uh, into deeper today, even as uh, the, dele the delegates come here and also speak to all the important people involved in the organizing and also see what the way forward is to ensure that in either extremes, the time when we have uh, heavy rains and the time that uh, it is completely dry, then the people living in Meru and the counties that depend on the water sources coming from uh, the mountain actually do not suffer and have a solution uh, to their challenges. Back to you in studio, Brenda. Thank you so much, Ibrahim Kranj, and I believe you'll continue giving us latest updates during our subsequent bulletins and also Leo Mashinani when I wrap up at 11.